and circumstances came together that would allow us to uh, put this dream in motion. And with the help of probably over a hundred very diverse partners, this is why we are here today. Through that shared vision, we set uh, the goals to have a, a conservation journey. And that conservation journey has gotten us here in the establishment of this urban national wildlife refuge. It's important because it benefits the people that are here. It's nature in their own backyard. And that's extremely important because if you don't appreciate it here, where will you appreciate it? And hopefully over time, it will also produce natural resource stewards, stewards and also conservation leaders for, the, for tomorrow. Our shared goals here in the Valley de Oro National Wildlife Refuge is a place for wildlife, is a place for habitat restoration, education, a visitor center, and a safe and accessible outdoor recreational center. It is a sense of place and pride also for this local community. To sum it up, Valley de Oro National Wildlife Refuge is defined by its commitment to conservation, culture, and community. And for that, I applaud you. I have a, a lot of stories to tell in terms of the development of this National Wildlife Refuge, and I will spare you that. I think there are about 20 pages here, but I won't take you through all of that. What's probably more importantly is that we hear from the children what Valle de Oro means to them. And so at this time, I would like to invite a number of young people up to share with you their impression of what Valle de Oro means. I would like to invite the students from the Middle Rio Grande Urban Conservation Corps, the Mountain View Elementary School, the Isleta Pueblo Language Program, and also the Albuquerque Sign Language Academy to come up and to share with you why they love Valley de Oro. Hello everybody. Ooh, that's loud. Um, my name is Ivan Robles. I am a volunteer coordinator for the Valle de Oro, along with a proud crew member to Rocky Mountain Youth Corps. Yeah. Emphasis on the crowd. Uh, my relationship with the Valle de Oro began uh, during my senior project at Next Gen Academy High School. And after getting involved with the refuge, I knew that I wanted to be a part of this amazing experience. So I joined the Middle Rio Grande Urban Conservation Corps to make a difference in my community and in myself. I love the Valle de Oro, de Oro because of the wonderful staff, innovative ideas, and the, the bright future ahead of it. Thank you. Today I'm going to talk about why I love Valladolid. I love Valladolid because it's a home for many wild animals, like birds and coyotes. You can also see and learn about the animals. <laughs> Hi, my name is David Martinez. Um, I love I love Valladolid because it's safe for animals and it gives you education. Uh, me encanta Valle de Oro porque, porque es seguro para animales y te da educación. Hello, my name is Regina Rosales. Today I came to talk about why I like Valle de Oro. I love Valle de Oro because it makes the world a better place for people, animals, plants, and much more. It's educational, fun, and a great place for walks. Hi, my name is Manuel Calzadillas. Um, I, I like Valle de Oro because it's a home for many animals, and it's because it's a place that we come to explore. Me encanta Valle de Oro porque 
es una casa para animales y podemos explorar. Hello, my name is Hunter and this is Douglas, David, um, Moranga, Ashley, and Athena. Thank you for having us. Um, my name is Rake Martinez. I'm the executive director of the Albuquerque Sign Language Academy. Um, my sign name, well, my name is Rake, but my sign name is Rake. So, so you know that. Um, I have with me today um, Michaela Ranspot, Malia Ranspot. This is my son, Ben Martinez, all students. And this is my other son, who will be a student at Albuquerque Sign Language Academy. This is Matt. He just tagged along. Um, <laughs> We would have had the whole school here had we not been on spring break. This is our spring break. Uh, but um, our buy-in to, to Valle del Oro and everything connected to Rocky Mountain Youth Corps is all in. We, um, we are a part of this place. Uh, we are officially partnered with Rocky Mountain Youth Corps and, and figuring out how to build that partnership and grow it to be something that is nationally um, just groundbreaking. Um, the things we're doing at our school, I think, by itself, are, aren't happening anywhere else in the nation uh, around deaf education and special education and the things that we want to do connected to Rocky Mountain Youth Corps and particularly Valle del Oro. I think uh, there's just so much, so so many places we can go. So I could talk forever, by the way. So uh, <laughs> I'm going to hand it over to, um, well, I'm going to direct you to take a look at uh, uh, Michaela Ranspot. She's going to sign to you what makes Valle del Oro special to the Albuquerque Sign Language Academy. about Vada Oro. Uh, the sign that we use for school means some special place. We love Vada Oro because we can study insects. We love Vada Oro because we can study animals and where they live. We love Vada Oro because we can study the water. We love Vada Oro because you can watch and study the birds. Because we love Vada Oro because we can enjoy the outdoors. We love Vada Oro because we can volunteer. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> we honored, we're honored to be here today. Thank you. American, eight of ten Americans live in suburban or urban areas of the country. Children are more and more disconnected from the outdoors and the, the more uh, we, we are learning more and more about the benefits of children spending time in the outdoors 
And so we, and we in the Fish and Wildlife Service and our state and other federal agency partners have been trying for now more than two decades to try to expand opportunities for children to get into the outdoors. But many times those places are far from cities. And I think about just the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service as you drive south from here, we have Sevilleta National Wildlife Refuge and Bosque del Apache uh, National Wildlife Refuge. But, and, and so close, yet so far um, for many of the young children growing up who have really don't have the opportunity to get uh, to those great places. Well, so we have decided in the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service that we are going to bring the outdoors to the people, that we are going to bring outdoor opportunities to our great cities like Albuquerque, like San Diego, like Portland, like Denver, like Philadelphia, like New Orleans, that we are going to look for opportunities to bring the outdoors into our great urban centers so that uh, children uh, who are less privileged and have less opportunity are going to have more opportunity close to their homes, to places that mean something to them personally, that connect with them in their personal lives. So I want to say thank you to everyone who has been involved in this effort here to make this great urban refuge, to build it from the ground up. All of you now who are seeing a vision uh, for the future and are going to help us make that vision uh, possible, connecting Valle de Oro to the city with a trail system, uh, with accessible uh, transportation methods to get young people to this opportunity, and that's really what this is all about. And, and in the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, we began two years ago uh, to make an, a, a commitment that we are going to look for the best opportunities and we are going to find the dollars to support them. And so um, uh, two years ago, I was in San Diego making a similar announcement last year in Portland, Oregon. And now here I'm in Albuquerque to say that Valle de Oro is our third, what we're calling million dollar uh, urban refuges. So we are making a commitment to put $1 million um, here in, in operating funds at Valle de Oro. So that's $1 million that will be here and will stay here um, in perpetuity. <clears throat> And, and that $1 million is going to support capacity that's going to build partnership, that's going to leverage more dollars that will come here to Valle de Oro. And so we will be working in partnership with the city and the county um, to make this place everything that it can be for wildlife and for people, particularly young people um, who are going to have tremendous opportunity here. And they as Benjamin Tuggle said, they are the future for conservation in the United States of America. The people who are inspired here uh, today, like Miranda, who told me she wants to be a wildlife biologist. Uh, maybe one day she will be standing at this podium as the director of the United States Fish and Wildlife Service. So, so I want to say thank, thank you, thank you, and uh, and now it's uh, really my privilege, and I'll, and I'll start by saying thank you to the people of New Mexico, because what we are doing here today, and we will be doing in other cities across the country, um, we cannot do uh, without the support of great leaders in the United States Congress. And the people of New Mexico have sent uh, a great leader to the United States Congress, somebody who comes to work every day uh, um, and works hard to figure out how we can make things like this happen and how we can provide the political support that is necessary to, um, to make uh, roses like this blossom and become everything that they can be for the future. And Senator Martin Heinrich is one of those people, and it's my privilege uh, to uh, introduce you to your senator, uh, Martin Heinrich. Good morning, everybody. How proud are we as New Mexicans 
that the director of the Fish and Wildlife Service for the entire nation and the director of refuges for the entire nation are from New Mexico. And like Dan said, I have a dream that the kids from Mountain View Elementary or the young leaders we heard from Isleta Pueblo or the fine young adults that are working hard in the Conservation Corps from Rocky Mountain uh, Conservation Corps who are here, uh, those are the folks who are going to be filling these leadership positions in the future. And that is what Valle de Oro is all about. I got to come here many years ago with Greg Heiner over there from Trust for Public Land before this was a refuge. And I brought my son Carter along to see this place. And I started to view this place through his eyes because it was immediately evident that he saw what this could be. He saw how much fun uh, an elementary school kid could have learning about the outdoors on this site. And I have been a believer in this refuge ever since. That's what this is about. It's about the entire the entire ladder from an elementary school student who comes here and connects directly with nature the way many of us could just go out our back doors when, when we were kids. Uh, my mom had strict rules about which animals that I brought home could be inside the house versus outside the house, especially with regards to snakes and tarantulas. Um, too many of our kids today can't do that. They don't have that direct access to nature and that is why a place like this is so important. And that can light a fire that will take them all the way to a career where they give back to the state of New Mexico and to the country. Um, this million dollars is gonna build that capacity. It's gonna make the incredible partnership with so many people that you see here today from the county, uh, from the Conservancy District, from the city, from literally 100 plus partners that made this possible. It's gonna build on that. And it's going to make sure that everything we dreamed of can actually come true here at this refuge. So it's a great day to be here. I want to say uh, a special thank you. And if you would, please give uh, a round of applause to a person who took this idea and has just charged ahead with it and doesn't just work with the community, but is, has become a part of the community. And that is the refuge man uh, manager, Jennifer Owen White. I have heard Jennifer described as the energizer bunny of the refuge system. And everyone here uh, in the South Valley appreciates that, that energy because it's making this real. I'm going to leave you with one last thought. There were many, many partners who made all of this happen. But the, the pieces that we were able to bring together from the federal delegation that made up a big chunk of being able to acquire this property, to being able to acquire the water rights to, uh, to support this vision, came from something called the Land and Water Conservation Fund. That project, which has started back in the 1960s. In fact, Senator Udall's father was Secretary of Interior when that vision became a reality, uh, has made things possible like Valles Caldera National Preserve here in New Mexico, or putting Ute Mountain up in Taos County back in the public hands. It also made this refuge possible. I think it was the single largest line item in being able to acquire the property and the water rights here. It has been a fight to keep that alive. It doesn't come from tax dollars. It comes from offshore oil revenues. And it seems like a reasonable thing to give back to this country in exchange for those public minerals. And it made this refuge and many other special places that we all value possible uh, across the state of New Mexico. We fought to extend that program permanently last year. We were not able to do that, but we extended it for three more years. It's gonna continue to be a fight, but I want you to know just how important the Land and Water Conservation Fund has been for South Valley and for the state of New Mexico. Thank you all for coming out today. There is never a bad day here at Valle de Oro. Wow. 
Um, can I get the million dollar check now, Dan? It's just not that I don't trust you. I just want to just touch it a little bit. A million dollars, quite an investment. But it pales in comparison in terms of the investment that the community has made in this piece of land. And when I think about all the partnerships and the way that they've worked and the incredibly hard things that you've done to establish this refuge, I want to give this day to you because this is your day. This is your payoff for that collaboration. And it culminated in a million dollars. So thank you. In closing, I just would like to thank uh, Dan for joining us and being a part of this community and supporting the refuge. I'd also like to thank the senator for being here. Um, I remember the day your son took off and in the mud and was chasing frogs and things like that. I knew we had a winner then. I would also like to thank Art Dela Cruz. Um, he has been a visionary in this part of the, of the county. I would also like to thank uh, the mayor who is a, a particularly supportive partner and we're going to do a lot of great things connecting this particular piece of property with the city. Cynthia, I want to thank you for being a home girl, coming back home, and um, this is also part of your legacy. But most of all, I want to thank all of you and the partners that have been particularly active and supportive of the refuge staff, have been supportive as, as friends, community members, and most of all, I think you recognize that our future is here with young people and these kinds of programs. The federal government can only do so much without the collaboration of partnerships that are so important to communities. And at the end of the day, we are most successful when we collaborate and the community benefits. So as we talk about Valle de Oro, as we move forward, I'm looking forward to the great things that we will accomplish, not only for conservation, but also for the youth of America, and particularly in New Mexico. This is our National Wildlife Refuge, and we're extremely proud to be part of this community, and we thank you for embracing us. So this is a great day. Give yourselves a hand. Thank you. I'd like to invite Jennifer. There she is. So for those of you who don't know who Jennifer is, um, you need to get out more. Uh, she, I think she would give the Energizer Bunny a run for their money. I have often said that if I had five Jennifers, I'd rule the world. And I think the world uh, is not ready for five Jennifers. So Jennifer Owen White, who is the refuge manager for Valley de Oro, I want to welcome her to the stage, and unabashedly, I'd like for you to give her a round of applause because she's special. Okay, I just want to say thank you to everyone for being here. Thank you to all of our partners. Um, we want to do a big thank you to our friends group who now have refreshments provided for us at the back of the tent. Um, I want to say just a huge heartfelt thank you from Valle de Oro, from our community here in Mountain View, who appreciates everyone's support. So let's have some food. Let's celebrate for our media. We're going to have our media veil. We're going to gather right here. So let's celebrate your National Wildlife Refuge, Valle de Oro. Woo.